Hi, welcome to part 2 of our lesson. Glad you are able to make it this far. Well, in this part, we discuss the question, how do living things reproduce? Now, to answer that question, we need to learn about the parts and function of the male and female reproductive system. So, who wants to go first? Well, ladies first. So, let's first talk about the female reproductive system. So here we have a diagram of the organs that make up the female reproductive system. And for the purpose of our lesson, we are only going to focus on three parts. Okay. So now the females are actually born with hundreds of undeveloped eggs or female sex cells. And these are released once a month after puberty. This process is known as ovulation. Okay. Now when the eggs is released, it travels through what we call a fallopian tube and into the uterus known as also known as the womb there it will stay waiting for the male sex cells or sperm to come along and fertilize it now if fertilization does not take place the egg is not fertilized the egg will die and it will come out of the female body and this is known as menstruation okay now but if fertilization does take place the womb will then hold the fertilized egg until it develops into a fully developed baby and uh, the, the female will give birth to that baby. Now I know some of you might be wondering what is fertilization? So don't worry, we will get to that in a short while. Um, the final part will be the vagina. The vagina is a passageway uh, which allows sperm to enter the female body and is also that same way in which the baby will come out uh, and leave the mother's womb. All right. So next, we talk about the male reproductive system. There are two main parts that you need to know. Uh, first is the testis, and the next one is the penis. So the testis is actually held outside of the male body, uh, and it's held in a scrotum, what we call a scrotum. Okay, so the, uh, the function of the testis is to produce sperm or the male sex cell. Notice the difference between male and female. The female is born with all the eggs that she needs, while the male actually, the male testis actually produces the sperms. Okay? Now the penis is the main part, is the male part, sorry, that is inserted into the female during, during sexual intercourse or mating. Alright, and its function is to deposit the sperm into the female so that the eggs can be fertilized. Now, so like I said, what is fertilization? So after the sperms have been deposited into the female, they will swim into the, the womb to locate the egg to fuse with it. Now, although millions of sperms are deposited, only some will make it to the egg and only one sperm is needed to fuse with the egg. So this fusion of male and female sex cells is known as fertilization. And only when the egg is fertilized, will it be able to grow into a new human being? Okay, now to find out more about the, the journey of uh, how the sperm goes into the female, click on the link here or you can type this link into your web browser to learn more. Now, so what happens after fertilization? So after fertilization, the fertilized egg will grow and develop into, uh, will grow and develop in the womb. Okay, it will begin to divide into many cells to form the baby's tissues, organs, and systems, and whatever uh, that you see when the baby is, is born. And after about 40 weeks, which is roughly about 9 months, uh, the baby is ready to be born into the world. Okay, so here's part 2's quiz. What is fertilization? As usual, select the correct answer in the Google form and See you at part three.